I was brought up in a household where uh, there were always books on the shelves. Both my parents were school teachers. So books were <coughs> respected um, and used, um, and they were there. And it was thought normal that a child should read books. We went to the public library every week or fortnight or so and took out books from an early age. Um, and then buying books was also thought to be a natural thing to do. And if you won a prize at school, you would, it would, you would usually spend the money on books. You got book tokens as, as, as children for Christmas presents. So <clears throat> all sorts of reading were encouraged, um, as they were indeed at school. Um, but it, there was no, uh, I mean, the, the jump from being a reader to being a writer was unimaginable. Um, I think my grandfather had once had uh, printed and possibly bound up a thesis he did on woodworking at a sort of technical college. He was a, he was a, 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 a headmaster of, a, I think, a primary school in, in, that's to say, a school for young children in uh, Shropshire. Uh, my mother once had a letter uh, in the London Evening newspaper, um, a rather a disapproving letter uh, on the subject of um, of uh, student of women students who got themselves pregnant and expected to be supported by the state or something like that thereafter. Um, and this letter was uh, growing ever yellower, was uh, displayed on our mantelpiece. This, this was our contribution to, to letters. So um, you know, it was it was exact. It was the parallel to when I was a very small boy, and I'd be taken to watch the, the 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 trains go by. You thought it would be wonderful to be a train driver, but other people were train drivers. There was no question of making that jump. So the same with with being other people were writers. Um, though I suppose I was encouraged as an exercise to do occasional bits of what we would now call creative writing at school. That's to say, you were asked to write essays about um, what you did in the holidays, and then, then encouraged to be slightly more fictional. And I think I had occasionally written bits of short prose of an imaginative kind, um, and maybe a poem or two, I think, for the school magazine. Um, then I went to university. Um, N had no thought of being a writer at that stage. I, I never did any, you know, none of that under the sheet stuff as a small boy. Or, 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 or I mean, other, other under the sheet stuff, but that's a, that's a different question that does not concern us now. Um, and uh, I think it was after I finished university, I was working on the Oxford English Dictionary in feeling rather dissatisfied with life generally, and um, decided to write um, a non-fiction account of all the writers who, was, who had passed through or lived near Oxford. Um, it was a rather sort of, I mean, I don't know, I, it was, I, happily it was never published. It was once bought, but then um, when delivered, the publishers didn't like it, so my shame was saved in that respect, and my face was saved. Um, so that was my first sort kind of writing project. And I then, at, at about the same time, that's to say when I was 25 or so, um, I started getting little bits of book reviewing um, at the same time as starting to write what eventually became my first novel. But I I never thought that I had any qualifications for or justification for writing a novel. There's no, there were no exams to pass in writing a novel. I'd spent all my life up to then reading great literature, so it seemed absurd to add a tiny pebble to this monstrous pyramid of great works. Um, and I think for me, um, I think I was deeply lacking in confidence about, about the whole business, which is, is quite justifiable. <laughs> Why shouldn't you be? I'm suspicious of writers who think that they are 
um, at a very young age are, 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 are put on earth in order to um, tell their fellow human beings about what life, what life is like. Um, so it was, uh, it, it was, it was, I know, uh, and at that time, of course, there were no such things as writing courses um, in Britain. And, and so it was very much, you know, do it yourself. And I was, had other jobs and I, uh, I, I studied to become a lawyer and so on. Um, so it was, it, was, it was slow and unpromising and unconfident beginning. And my first novel took about eight or nine years to write, in fact. 